Hello, hello everyone! Welcome to the stream between Rusty versus Isla. I'm Silwas Kaels, your commentator for today. Excited to see how this one is going to be going. So essentially, we have the number one seed versus the number five seed here. Really wondering how this one is going to be going. Not to mention, both of them have an early dots, looks like, or probably just very low combo in general. As this is not exactly a high beat, high, high object beat now. But yeah, both players trading punches against each other. Certainly not the start you want for either player, actually, because that does not secure anything at all. It's just gonna make the lead a little bit more uh, wonky. So Rusty immediately concedes another drop to Isla, who's been holding pretty well in the combo side. She's been consistent so far. At least more consistent than Rusty is. Which, in which he has dropped some mists unfortunately compared to Isla's only, I think, one miss so far. She did a very good job catching the very big gap of fruits, not to mention Rusty as well. Doing a wonderful job at that. So Isla has to be very careful because I know Rusty is certainly going to be hungry to take this lead back. And these long sliders are going to be very important. The thing about this map is, again, as I've said a while ago, it's such a low object map, so each mistake that you make is going to matter so much. This lead is starting to get bigger, mainly because there's really just not that many opportunities for you to make mistakes here. The, bit, the small circles, the slow AR is certainly not going to be helping. But Rusty finding another drop, this could be the nail in the coffin unless I'll find something tragic. He's been holding on this super well. Those big gaps not affecting either player right now. Must get sort of stabilized. But this is not a good way to start for Rusty actually. As Isla's probably going to be able to take this. Just has to be really careful in finishing this. Because I know very well this can cause some mistakes even at the very end. Rusty making these very bad errors. I think that seals the deal. Isla takes the first point. A break point at that on one of the hidden picks. Three misses to seven. While does that while that does not look like a big miss difference, it certainly does on a map with so few objects. So yeah, this is a big difference right here. Right now we're going to Nomad 1. I find it immersive I was going for a Nomad 1 pick. So look at this in another way, through the, through the numbers of the map so far. Looking at qualifiers, um, I thought actually has the number 3 Nomad 1 score. But Rusty has a perfect a million, so it's gonna be hard to top that really. perfect score on Nomad 1 in the qualifiers, and this would certainly be a good look for Rusty instead of Isla. Because remember, you can't really beat someone that plays perfectly, you can only match them. And right now, Rusty showed exactly a perfect performance so far. Isla is currently performing well, but well is not enough to play against a perfect performance. This is a very long 
map though, so there's definitely a lot of opportunities for Ayla to take it back. And right now, actually, Rusty fighting a, a drop with it, did not catch. These gaps are just gonna get bigger. Both of them were able to catch the stream, the rain of fruit. So yeah, Rusty is keeping the consistency, but there are some droplets that both players are not able to catch. Gotta be careful now. This could be a sign of inconsistency. Luckily though, Rusty has not found the drop yet on this map. But Isla slowly coming back. Slowly claw crawling through the combo, which is a very good sign for Isla. But still, Rusty has the lead and this is gonna remain stable. But Isla finding a drop, that's just gonna extend the lead that Rusty already had even further. My goodness, this consistency from Rusty is just otherworldly right now. I was doing a really good job recovering from those mistakes that she made. But unfortunately, Rusty is just a little bit too consistent right now. It's gonna take a miss, a couple of misses for Rusty. Like, Rusty would need to miss, build up some combo, and then miss again. For Isla to even have a shot at coming back. And right now, Rusty is just ridiculously consistent. Like, this is what we, this is what you call the proper usage of those dash notes. And unfortunately, Isla was on the short end of the stick on that one. Rusty knows right now at least comparison where when and where to dash right now just overall a wonderful display for both players oh wait a minute rusty fighting a draw another one actually this could be a this could be a turning point for isla two consecutive drops is never good not to mention isla is in the combo cap right now so this certainly will decrease the lead even more, but Isla finds one trade back. Even though Rusty dropped two in a row, it's not gonna matter at all. Because right now, Isla's in the combo disadvantage. Has always been, actually. If Isla, need, if Isla wants a shot of winning, it has to happen now. Absolutely no more mistakes could be afforded. Rusty needs to break right now. Isla cannot afford a single fruit drop. Unfortunately, it's not gonna be the case as Isla finding another mistake. That probably is the nail the coffin unless Rusty finds a few more chain misses. Which again doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Rusty is very careful right now. Isla's been making mistakes and Rusty is able to use them to their advantage. I think that should do it. Rusty should be able to take this two consecutive breakpoints from each other and what a way to answer back. At this rate, I would think Rusty should go for Nomad 4. Considering how this map went, Nomad 4 might actually be a good pick for Rusty. Actually, instead of going for instead of going for Nomad 4, uh, we'll be going for Decadence Dancer Ultra. I can see why this is selected. I can also see why this could be like let's look at let's look at the let's look at the stats again, shall we? Rusty has a considerable lead against Isla on that, so I guess Hard Rock kind of makes sense. We still have to be very careful, cause like I know this map is not gonna let up anytime soon.
honestly very impressive to me that both players are still holding A100%. Like, it's just super consistent between these two players. Like, these fruits are very relentless, so any mistake you make, it's gonna be it's most likely going to end up with a chain of misses instead of just one. And again, right now, both players are still holding at 100%. What is going on with them? Oh, that's gonna be painful. Isla finds the first miss. Actually, it's been put a lot of miss when Isla's in. Accuracy is still really high though. I think that will be a bit actually not that high. But regardless, it's still hard drop in this. It's still zero, so you gotta be really careful here. Yeah, opportunities are starting to be lower for Isla now. As it is, it's, just, it's still a doubleless effort from Rusty. Isla, unfortunately, dropping a little bit more. 80,000 point difference, only because Rusty's been performing in a perfect way. You can't do really, can't really, again, you can't really do better than perfect. We can only match it. Isla, unfortunately, has no more opportunity to match this play than Rusty has. And if Rusty, if Isla were to want to have a chance of winning, has to be right now. Time is running out. Rusty still in a perfect position. Isla, unfortunately, while she's able to climb back, the combo cap increasing her accuracy. So, I think the opportunities are low. Rusty finally misses, but it's too late. And Isla missing at the very end secures the point for Rusty. And now we're up two to one. Rusty on the board with the victory on this map. I actually wonder what I would take over right now. Honestly, I'm not sure what to feel about this pick though. It is a double time pick, so let's look at the stats again. Um, hmm, interesting that Isla went for a DT pick though. If this is something that she's comfortable with, then probably just why not at this point. I'm not 
So now we'll be seeing how he still player matches on this, on this map. Apparently it's ridiculously close between these two players from double time. Um, Rusty is actually still performing in a perfect way. I was trying to find a way to stall back. So again, you can't, I, I keep on saying this, I know, but you can really only match a perfect performance. And right now, Isla unfortunately finding a drop, failing to, be, failing to catch even a single fruit will be detrimental. Not to mention there's a double time mod here, so the difference is certainly going to be added. It's going to be added much more. So it's certainly going to be concerning. Isla's continuous, continuing the drop, not a good sign whatsoever. Yeah, Rusty has to keep on pushing through, cannot afford any mistakes, because I know Isla can keep his consistency. Rusty trying to do everything he can, and oh, that's another another droplet that he did catch with Isla. She drops another one, not a good sign. Even though Rusty's accuracy is continuing to drop, I don't think it's gonna matter as long as Isla's still able to keep that combo, as long as Isla's still able to miss, and if Rusty can keep his combo up, I think it should be done. Oh, that's another drink with Isla, but wait, Rusty finds drop, but I think it's a little bit too late. And not to mention the combo advantage that Isla has is not even that big. That should do it. Rusty finds another drop, but again, it doesn't really matter anymore. It's just a little bit too late for Isla to even have a chance right now. Look at this. Isla actually had lower miscount than Rusty. But Isla's misses were more spread out than Rusty's, which is why the miscount really didn't really matter here. <laughs> You're so annoying. Oh, really? Finally, this map actually works! On the client, let's go! <laughs> You're so annoying. <laughs> Oh, 
unfortunately, Isla is finding more and more drops. So wait a minute, Rusty actually trades it back, not to mention lower accuracy as well. This is not looking good for Rusty right now. In fact, I think Isla is going to be able to take this lead very slowly. She's slowly getting there. These clamped notes are not affecting anyone. Despite them being super stacked, both players still need to catch them. Flawless here, I a problem for 1,000 point event for Isla, but oh, that's nothing! As Rusty claims the lead back! It's really close still, however, though, this is still within one mistake territory. Rusty trying to pull this lead back up ahead even more. Isla's also trying to get some back. But as I say, that Isla makes a very bad mistake, especially on the slow section. This is not what you'd want to get if this is the case. Right now, the lead is just starting to get really big, and I think Rusty is going to be taking this comfortably as now it's going to be a 4 to 1 advantage. Time is really running out for Isla to make any sort of comeback here. Goodness, and yeah, Nomad 4, this is exactly the pick I was saying Gross should go for, but instead, I was the one taking it, so another. This is a little bit of a questionable pick, in my opinion, actually. I love finding a few early breaks to start, it's exactly why I was thinking this is not a good pick but as I say that, Rusty actually found a few misses of his own so certainly, um, I don't think these players would want a start like this regardless of how how this goes, you know? So I'm just really unsure if 
if this was a good pick for Ayla, definitely something we could have been improved in the second strategy here, at least in my opinion. But there's definitely a reason why she went for this pick. Probably consistency or something like that. Currently though, it looks like Russ's accuracy is actually lower than Isla, so at any time a Russ team is a mistake, Isla can potentially capitalize on that, but unfortunately the opposite is what's happening. Isla is the one who's making those mistakes. It's unfortunate really. This lead is started to get a little bit out of hand as Rusty is continuously increasing that accuracy mode and also that, uh, not accuracy, my bad, I meant that combo lead against Isla is really starting to get out of reach right now. Yeah, I mean, this is a hidden pick. I do think that Isla won a hidden pick to start, so I'm not sure if this is a good decision for Rusty to make. Though, then again, this hidden is different from that one. Because the previous, the one hidden that they played, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the notes were not that much, the gaps were a lot, and now I think it's a total opposite. This one's more of a consistency one. Rather than trying to be able to catch as many fruits as you can with these small sample size or something like that, My goodness, this consistency from Rusty for the latter part of the match has been quite insane but I hasn't really been performing that bad either. Just Rusty's been performing super amazing right now.
right now, the sea is actually not too much, so if any mistake happens from Rusty's side, Isla can actually take this lead back. Isla and Rusty traded one miss with each other. Ultimately, it's gonna be it's gonna benefit Rusty as the lead just starts to increase. Isla missing one more time with the cuts in the, of the coffin. Congratulations to Rusty for securing a place in the top three podium. Unfortunate for Isla, but she definitely put up a good fight. There were some maps here which could have went her way, but sometimes it just doesn't happen. And unfortunate for her, but Rusty is going to be the winner of this match. Both players did a fantastic job trading punches with each other, trying to take the lead. Just what a good performance from Rusty. Absolutely going to be getting top three on this tournament. Well deserved. Isla herself will be sent to the loser's bracket. But still a wonderful performance as I have said a while ago. And here we go, here's going to be the winner of this uh, match, it's just going to be... It's going to be Rusty right now. And yeah, that's it. So we'll have to look at the bracket just to see who's going to be. Ooh, it's gonna be Isla versus Kelsey. And now Mawile awaiting for the winner between Roydo and Maririn. We'll have to see if this can get streamed. Because we actually we actually don't know if there's gonna be a streamer available. Sadly. But for the meantime, thanks so much everyone for watching. We hope that there will be someone to stream in the next match. And see you next time. Goodbye.